What is up? What is up, people? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk, the first of a potential series here on the channel. You know, the team and I were actually talking about a great way to interact with all of you guys at the end of each and every week, calling it the Wild Week in Esports. We recap a few events out there that happened over the past week or so that were pretty crazy in gaming or in esports. So it's a great way for you guys to reach out to us via DMs or comments and say, hey, Jake, or hey, Nick, or hey, whoever, whoever else in esports talk, let's cover this at the end of the week and recap it because this was crazy, insane, stupid or dumb, whatever it might be, we cover it in the wild week in esports. So if you guys like this, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below so I know you guys want more of these or leave a comment down below. You don't got to like the video. It doesn't matter too much, guys. But let's recap this past week or so. This first week, I'm a bit behind on a lot of these stories, but uh, next week, of course, I'll be caught up as well. So here for episode number one, we're going to lead off with one of the scariest things I've ever seen. The first ever, to my knowledge, at least the first one I've ever seen, esports mascot for opening weekend of LCS. It's actually Liquid, none other than Liquid, yes, uh, supposedly going to be the best LCS team yet again for North America, or could be, and they come out with this scary thing. And the first question coming to my head, and I think many of you guys as well, is do we need this in esports? Is this really needed? I know there's a lot of crossover between pro sports and pro esports, and we try and kind of ride that line. You know, our esports pros athletes, our sports pros athletes, obviously, yes, and we cross over a few things here and there, but do we need the, the mascots? What's next? Cheerleaders? You guys, can, of course, can leave your thoughts down below. I thought it was insanely creepy, also insanely unique, so props to them. I'm just curious now how much they are paying the guy. And our second story out there, one we covered individually here on the channel, that's going to be Rogue's latest partnership, which has gone a bit awry and only lasted for about a week, that with a popular Twitter channel known as Satan. Yes, I mean Satan as in AKA 666, AKA the devil. They somehow partnered up, actually had him supposedly take over their account for an entire day. They went back and forth and ended uh, just a few days ago with Satan now being, yeah, apparently, uh, unfortunately, his Twitter account has now been suspended. Actually been suspended for quite some time, quite a few days now, ever since the partnership with Rogue. They have actually changed their logo back, which is kind of sad because I like the Rogue Satan rebrand. I almost thought it was going to be a rebrand announcement. It lasted for a couple of days. Now Satan suspended, Rogue's back to what they used to be, and it leaves everyone else wondering, why the heck did an esports organization just partner up with the devil? Like, wild, huh? F kind of fits the series hand in hand. Very lastly for all of you, a story we did not cover individually because we were a bit late on it. That's going to be popular streamer, former Overwatch Pro, XQC, opening a package on stream, which is exactly why I don't know if I ever want a mailbox for all of you guys watching right now, because I know... I know there's going to be someone who does something like this. He was actually sent a mysterious package full of syringes and other things. And especially as of right now, is not a good time to be opening these kind of things because the coronavirus is going around. There's many other diseases out there that can be sent amidst these packages. It was a very creepy package filled with syringes and the like of other very, very scary stuff. Here was him opening that. To Felix. Thanks, man. It says CPU. These are syringes. Okay, I'm done. Holy shit, what the f You know, in all seriousness, I want this this uh, this series to be a bit more lighthearted, a bit more funny. That kind of stuff is just you got to imagine from his point of view how scary that can be to open that up and see those kind of things and not know at all what you were just sent, what could be else kind of contaminating the package. That kind of stuff really does creep me out. I just got done being sick for about a week and a half, and I can't imagine all of a sudden you open a friendly fan package and, and you could die. Or who knows, right? You just never know the dark minds of all of his crazy fans out there, hundreds of thousands of fans. Who knows? All it takes is one one little bad raisin to send you something and all of a sudden you got something you didn't want at all but yes this is episode number one of this wild week in esports what do you guys think about this it was i think it was pretty wild one i hope next week can be all the more wild and you guys can send us stories to cover in this or you can leave comments down below as per usual hope you guys all enjoy thank you again for a great week in esports 
Until next time, I'll be back here all day, all weekend long. Have a great, safe weekend, everybody. Bye-bye.